Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is your boy, Rich, and I'm here with a very special guest. It is Dylan. How are you doing today, Dylan? What's up, everyone? I'm doing good. Just got off the wrestling mat, so ready to record this. Now, this is pretty exciting today because we're starting a brand new series, a new playlist. It's called Stocks for Teenagers. The thing that makes Dylan so unique is that he is still only 18 years old, but he's already learning how to invest in stocks. Mm -hmm. So why don't we take the time today, Dylan, to show everyone that's watching all over the world that even at 18, you can learn about stocks. So how did you get started? Yeah, so um, definitely. So I actually, so I had a job and I was making money and like, I, I'd always heard everywhere, like, you know, make your money work for you. And so I was like, oh, well, I mean, like, how can I really do that? I mean, like, there's not a lot I can do at my age. I still have to go to school. I still have to do certain things. So it's not like I can really start a business or I can do anything crazy. But then, like, I kind of, like, heard about, I, like, was kind of researching online. And then I came across the stock market. And I was like, wow, well, that seems like a really interesting thing. I mean, like, a lot of retirement and everything, like, that, that's where a lot of people are getting involved with later in life. So I thought, well, maybe if I get involved earlier and I, I can start with less money and I can add more money as I, like, gain it. But like that way, I'll be able to kind of like set up my future. But at the same time, like maybe even be able to make some extra money to have some money to go out with friends, pay for school. So like I felt like I would like kind of end up ahead of the ball game, and that it would kind of like set me apart from everyone else that just has a job, you know, goes out, they spend their money on like parties and stuff. So I felt like it would definitely be like a not an easy way, but like a another way I can make money and like just have like interest in it and just find something to do. And how did you start? What was the first thing that you did? So the first thing I did was I actually bought a couple books on Amazon. Um, I kind of actually, I actually found you on YouTube. So I was out on YouTube, kind of just watching the like, informational videos, just kind of looking around, like trying to get my feet wet before I like really got involved. Um, I already had TD Bank. So I kind of went ahead and made a Ameritrade account just because it went right through. So I kind of went through that. I did that at 17 because I, I actually just turned 18 in November. And, um, I just kind of, I kind of did a lot of like researching around, like just kind of gained like a general knowledge of the topic. Now, like later on, I didn't really actually learn a lot of like important information until like I ended up, it was too late. I mean, like I'm down right now on Aurora cannabis, but it, it was a solid investment. And like after, like now that I know the information that I know, I mean, I know that I'm not screwed. I just like, I feel like I didn't really understand the difference between like trading and the difference between like long-term holding, like putting money in and forgetting about it. And so that was definitely like a big learning gap for me. And is there any advice you can give to anybody that's a teenager like you that wants to learn about stocks? Yeah. So, I mean, I would definitely go ahead and um, I would just read, I wouldn't be afraid to read books. I mean, definitely go out there. If books aren't your thing, YouTube videos, there's plenty out there. There's your channel, of course. Um, all, all sorts of stuff like that. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, just pretty much all over the place that you can really ask. I mean, you can even talk to teachers at your school if you're my age. You, you can really talk to anybody. Um, there's a lot of people that, that are willing to give good advice. I mean, but one piece of advice I would say is that you need to be careful who you're listening to and you need to make your own decisions. You can't just, I mean, like with, through the group chats and through the YouTube videos, like I can't just watch one of your videos and be like, oh, I'm going to buy that stock. Rich says it's great. Because I mean, like, nobody really knows the truth. I mean, like you can be the best in the world, but like, I mean, you, it's always good to do your own due diligence. It's good to um, pay attention to everything. I mean, and it's good to like, listen to everything and just kind of take it all in, but like, don't act on it right away. You know, I would say that's, that, that's definitely the main thing that I've learned to not just buy something. Cause someone like, is like, Oh, you know, you should buy this, you know? <clears throat> and now that you are investing and you said you're down a little bit on Aurora, what are your goals for 2019? So my goal is to get out of Aurora. Um, I'm actually right now, um, well, my goal is not to get out of Aurora. My goal is to make money. My goal is to just to come out positive on the year. But my goal is to kind of master the art of like trading and like be, I may be down sometimes. I may make poor decisions, but in the overall run, like end up on top and just kind of come out on top of the year. Um, I've been looking at like more of like the short-term trading. Like right now, like since I'm in it, stuck in Aurora, um, I've been considering, I've been playing around with the TD Ameritrade actually offers a uh, paper money, which is, um, it's like a way to trade without actually using like actual money. You get the real time market, you get real time, everything. However, you'll get, you'll trade like fake money. That's why I call it paper money. Yeah. And so I've been playing around with that and just practicing my trading strategies. So I would, I would say that that's, that's also another great tool for learners. There's another, there's a couple, there's like plenty of other platforms you can do that on. You don't have to just do TD, but 
there's plenty of platforms that you can definitely just get your feet wet. I mean, without even like really worrying about real capital. And I would say that that would bring me back to like my goal this year is definitely to um, just be more smart with my trading, make sure I do my due diligence and make sure I like, I really focus on the strategies that I want to do and not end up any holding any bags. That's very good. Now, what we're going to do is this is going to be a new playlist that we're going to create and we're going to be doing videos all the time. Talking yeah. about your experiences, talking about, you know, some of the things that are working for you, talking about some of the things that are not working for you. So for anybody that is interested, would you be willing to give support and would you be willing to give advice to anyone that's a teenager that's looking to learn? Would you be willing to provide that type of support? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, everything you can reach me on the WhatsApp, you can reach me through email. Email would be fantastic. Um, I actually have an Instagram that I'm going to give to you that you can link in the comments so people can, um, Perfect. they can find me on there. I do have a YouTube, but it's not very active. I still have to kind of set that up, but. Well, let's set a that, goal. Let's set a goal now that we're doing videos. Okay. Cause yeah. you're going to get big cause you're on rich TV. So let's set a goal of you setting up a YouTube channel this year, setting up all your social media mm -hmm. so that as we grow, and you grow in this industry, I mean, you're 18. By the time you're 28, my friend, you could be a star guru. I mean, I'm not kidding. So yeah. why not set yourself up now? And if people want to get in contact with you, if they need some help, they want some support, and they don't want to learn from an old guy like me, but they want to learn from a young guy like you, I'd love to be able to put all your contact details in the description of the video. And then that way they can get in direct contact with you. You can provide them support. You can give them some education. You can give them some leadership. Who knows where this goes? Yeah, I mean, definitely, of course. Um, I'm definitely going to look into all that. I'm going to get make sure that's all set up. Um, I already have a business account on email, so people can – or not on email, on Instagram. So people can uh, actively – they if people just visit my account, they can click right on it. The email is linked right in there. I'll also give it to you, though, so that way it's easier. Why don't you but, just give us your Instagram handle right now? All right, so my Instagram handle is actually D underscore Rafferty. Um, I will pull it up so you can kind of see what it looks like. Sure. Let's see. You see it on there? Yeah, a little okay. bit. Put it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, right there. There you go. Perfect. D underscore Rafferty. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, we can see that. Very good. Thank you. So, guys, go and follow Dylan on Instagram. He is a 18-year-old investor, and we're going to be working together, and we're going to be showing you guys the ropes. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with Dylan. Where are you at, Dylan? I'm out in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. So, you got your boy Rich from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. We got Dylan in America, in Philadelphia. We got coast to coast covered all across North America. You got the old dog here. You got the young guy there. What else can you ask for, man? You got Rich from Rich TV Live. We got Dylan. Dylan, you got anything else to say before we say goodbye? Um, uh, definitely just want to make sure that everyone like feels comfortable enough to reach out. I mean, I'll, I'm learning as you learn. So, I mean, just don't be afraid to reach out or say anything. If you have any comments, questions, I mean, I'm open to criticism, anything, um, and don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah. All right. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich, with Dylan from Philadelphia, and we're out. Peace.